A compassionate doctor has travelled deep into the jungle to provide medical care to a primitive tribe afflicted with a contagious disease. He has his medical equipment flown in, he has correctly diagnosed the problem and the antibiotics are prepared and available. He is independently wealthy and has no need of any kind of financial compensation. But as he seeks to provide care, the afflicted refuse. They want to care, take care of themselves. They want to heal on their own terms. Finally, a few brave young men step forward to receive the care being freely provided. What does the doctor feel? Joy. His joy increases to the, the degree that the sick come to him for help and healing. It's the whole reason the doctor came. How much more if the diseased are not strangers, but his own family? And the writer here is using this illustration because he says, so with us, so with Christ. He does not get flustered and frustrated when we come to him for fresh forgiveness, for renewed pardon. When, he come, when we come to him with distress and need and our need and our emptiness. That's the whole point. It's what he came to heal. He went down into the horror of death and plunged out through the other side in order to, order to provide a limitless supply of mercy and grace to his people. So this is from a book I've been reading, Gentle and Lowly, about the heart of Jesus. And it ties in somewhat with what we're doing on Sundays. We're looking at God's love, God's unfailing love, God's great love. And as we thought this Sunday, that love, it goes further than our sin. But the writer here is saying that we can sometimes feel that God is displeased with us. God gets upset with us. And that can cause us not to come to him for fresh healing, for renewed strength, for forgiveness. It can cause us not to come to him in our distress because we think that he's displeased with us. But actually, he came to heal. Jesus came not for the healthy, but for the sick. And uh, he was saying that to Pharisees who thought they were healthy and were blind to the fact that they were sick. So when we acknowledge our sin, we can come to Jesus because he delights to give us healing. And not just once, uh, and that's the end of it, like this doctor might give a vaccine and then the people are prevented from catching this disease again. No, it's like we get reinfected again, isn't it? We, we fall again into sin and we mustn't allow our sin to stop us coming back to this fountain of God's love and grace. Because like a doctor delights to heal, like a parent delights to provide for their children, so the Lord Jesus delights from the wealth of his grace achieved through his death and resurrection to give and give and give over and over again to his children for our benefit, for our growth, for our health. So don't ever grow tired. Don't allow Satan to trick you into not coming back to Jesus again and again and to think somehow like, He's uh, disgruntled to have to help you again. No, he loves to give you, to give to you. If you're his child, if you're part of his family, if you're part of his body, he wants the body, uh, individuals in the body to be healthy and to be full of joy. And then his body is healthier and full of his joy. And he as the head ultimately gets the praise and the glory for that. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the Lord Jesus. Thank you that he came in love for broken people like us. And thank you that your patience is so different to ours. You don't run out of patience with us. Thank you that you're slow to anger and abounding in love and faithfulness, that you go on loving us. You go on showing us your grace. 
and you delight for us to come and receive from you. Oh Lord, help us to sense your heart, your deep heart of love for your children. And may we come and draw upon all that you provide for us every day. Amen.